for today it was raining so uh, I made a trip over to Home Depot and spent 150 bucks on uh, the other necessary items let me show you what I did it was it was really a short night because I spent a lot more time at Home Depot than I thought I was going to um, and it was raining when I got home so I couldn't come right out anyway so let me show you um, today was electrical day pretty much uh, I installed an outlet on the uh, right side of the sink and I installed the, uh, the switch which I'm going to use to power the uh, water pump, water pumps. Um, oh, I wonder if I should put another one in there for the hot. I probably should. I'll think about that. Um, and then I'm going to have one more over here. It's actually going to go down there for the uh, fridge outlet and it's going to be a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter style adapter. Um, like this one, but cigarette lighter. Uh, as you can see, I slid the, the countertop in here to make sure it would work. And I also removed two of the brackets that were holding up this sink um, on this end, one on this corner, one on that corner. I've still got two in there, just not on the corners, um, because I needed to have this, uh, the countertop come out about an inch, inch and a quarter, uh, so it would fit in behind the bench over there. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that with that door area um, for the last space because it wouldn't make sense to have a little door that's only this tall but it also wouldn't make sense to have a door that you can only open when you take the cushion off and this is going to be pushed all the way back up against here when I'm done um, so I might just I might just cover this over um, and not have a door there or I might do a drawer that might work haven't decided on that yet and I do have some 14 inch drawer pulls that I can reuse not that 14 inches is going to be that good because it's 22 inches deep anyway uh, I bought some soft close uh, door hinges uh, those will be nice and I bought some felt to keep it from rattling um, some more electric oh I bought these hooks for uh, hanging on the um, on the kiteboarding gear slider. So these hooks will go up into the, uh, the slider here. Um, I don't think I showed this before. Let me show you this real quick. So this pin, I'm gonna have it on a string so I won't lose it. This pin holds it in place so it doesn't, uh, doesn't rattle around when I'm driving. And then this, I repurposed um, two of the uh, rails from the old drawer system and build this hanging drawer and it's got a stopper in here so that I can oh, you hear you can no, you can't see well you can see that the two rails are in there with the bearings on them um, what was I saying oh there's a stopper in here and um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna put a handle on the front here because I keep grabbing it right here and then smashing my fingers when I pull it so I gotta fix that I'm gonna put a handle on the front still can get at the uh, at the shower no problems there uh, I bought some primer and some paint I'm gonna paint these gray similar to this gray I'm trying to kind of trying to keep the same theme and I'm probably gonna paint the uh, the wheel wells that same gray too uh, what else oh put in an electrical outlet over here which will run 110 and I put in a switch over here to turn on the pump for the uh, for the water and again I think I'm gonna to have to put in another one for the hot water over here too um, so I'm making progress it's not all going super fast but every day is a little bit more tomorrow I'm gonna to work from home so I'll be able to start work at 530 be off at 230 and I'll be able to make some significant progress on the van uh, the plan is to uh, put in some uh, put in the, the the cabinet doors attach the sink put in the uh, the slide out table um, attach that to the bed rail attach that to the bed rail put the legs on the back of the cushion there so that I don't have to put rails on the front here I'm not sure how much of this I covered in the other videos if it's a repeat then I will uh, I'll delete this. Oh, I want to let me show you real quick. I want to replace this piece with a single piece that has I don't know either a smooth curve here or um, or just one solid piece 
because I don't like this. It looks crappy. Um, and because I'm going with the um, with the doors that come all the way up to here, I won't need a, a, a decorative rail under there. I can just paint this part gray. I'm telling you all a bunch of stuff that you're going to see me do eventually, hopefully. Um, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go in and watch Tampa Bay lose, I hope. No. I want Tampa to win because I can't stand the Capitals. Go Bolts, go!